Yo, what's good, y'all? Man, we got Deadpool 3 plot details reveal by Ryan Reynolds. So, um, yeah, my no Marvel fans are happy right now. You know, what I'm I don't know what you're not. You know, what I'm saying? gonna go, you feel me? Um, what's that called? Take the grain of salt type shit. So, yeah. Yeah, type shit, type shit. But anyway, leave a like. This is my channel, man. Hit the bell. And um, yeah, let's get it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. I'm your host, Warren Thompson. And lately, the MCU has been announcing really great things as far as the future of the MCU is concerned. Marvel's Phase 5 has been completely revealed, and Phase 6 is looking pretty good, with the projects announced being the Fantastic Four, two Avengers films, Avengers The King Dynasty, and Avengers Secret Wars, and now, of course, Deadpool this was all revealed to us in the past few months which has been completely awesome but what was truly awesome was how ryan reynolds told the world that hugh jackman yeah that was that was, that was awesome right there he told you jackman gonna be that bit i'm like oh yeah this gonna be fine was going to be returning as wolverine and how both of them were now going to be in the marvel cinematic universe yep. but we did have one idea hey hugh you want to play wolverine one more time yeah sure ryan and to top it all off, on top of that teaser, Hugh Jackman actually came on screen with him again, talking about kind of what to expect from Deadpool 3. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? You have questions. Yes. I, I had a lot of questions. I'm sure you had a lot of questions, but rest assured, we're going to answer them right now. Like, for example, how is Wolverine alive yeah. after Logan? Logan uh, takes place in 2029. Mm -hmm. Totally separate thing. Mm -hmm. Logan died in Logan. Not touching that. But what if I told you that Wolverine was already going to come back for Deadpool 3, even if Deadpool was still going to be a Fox movie and the Disney Fox deal never actually happened, and that this was actually a part of Ryan Reynolds' plan the entire time? You see, as it turns out, we could already know the plot for Deadpool 3 and what the main story is going to be about. Ryan Reynolds has been working on this script for years, and it sounds like it's going to be pretty dang epic. You see there it is, though. You see, Deadpool 3 has been in the works for many, many years now. Because remember, Ryan Reynolds had planned on doing a Deadpool 3 over at Fox before the Disney Fox did. Oh, yeah, to that. Still got done. So Ryan Reynolds has been working on this script for years now, and all evidence points to the fact that Ryan Reynolds has had a general idea for the movie done for some time now, and it always featured Hugh Jackman as the Wolverine. And not just a tiny cameo or a gag about Wolverine, but the entire story centering around the relationship between Deadpool and Wolverine. Now, based off of what we know, if this is done properly, and I have no doubt that it will be, it could be the craziest funniest and most brilliant multiversal storylines that we've gotten so far. In fact, Deadpool 3 could lead us to seeing almost every Fox Marvel character back on screen and then killed in true multiversal fashion. I'm looking at you, the Illuminati. <laughs> nah, they got, they got killed like a motherfucker. They got killed in two seconds. They talk a little bit and they got killed. I'm like, God damn, they ain't get two fucks. They ain't get two fuck. No okay. cap. But we are also probably going to see Deadpool and Wolverine go to many different universes in a sort of buddy cop type of movie, which I'm all here for. You see, Ryan Reynolds kind of already revealed the plot for Deadpool 3 some time ago. Almost just about two years ago, Ryan Reynolds tweeted on January 28th of 2021 this. It's critical to have open, honest, and healthy discussions around mental health. By retweeting, Bell Let's Talk, you can make a difference. In case that's not enough, before Disney bought Fox, Deadpool 3 was going to be a road trip between Deadpool and Logan. Rashomon style. For real. And this is actually brilliant. For those who have seen Rashomon or know what it's about, you know that Deadpool 3 could be set up to be something truly amazing if it's copying some type of Rashomon style. It'll be funny, and as Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds have already told us, it's going to be full of action and probably pretty bloody. And don't worry, I'll explain exactly what Rashomon is and the plot for Deadpool 3 and why Ryan Reynolds is a genius. And speaking of Ryan Reynolds, big thank you to Mint Mobile for sponsoring this video. 
Most people know about Mint Mobile because of Ryan Reynolds, but most people don't know about Mint Mobile's amazing quality. And I have to say there's an extremely good reason that Ryan Reynolds is pushing Mint Mobile so much because it actually is a great phone company. Mint Mobile sent me a free plan. And at first I didn't think too much of it. I have one of the major wireless providers. However, I don't get that good of service with my provider. And over the past three months, I've gotten incredible service with Mint Mobile to the point to where if I actually need to make a phone call, I will use my Mint Mobile phone. And what's crazy is their plan is so much cheaper. Mint Mobile offers wireless for just 15 bucks a month. They give you the best rate whether you're buying for one or a family. And at Mint Mobile, families start at only two lines. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Plus, Mint Mobile's modern family plan lets you mix and match data plans so everyone gets the amount of data that's right for them. And you can use your own phone and keep your same number and contacts. So to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, including the modern family plan, go to mintmobile.com slash cosmic. That's mintmobile.com slash cosmic. Cut your wireless bill down to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash cosmic. Now, Rashomon hmm. is a 1950s psychological thriller. It is the story of a I never heard that, but yeah. murder of a samurai retold by various people, mm. all of which have a slightly different perspective on how the crime took place. So imagine this scenario. Deadpool kills the Fox universe before going to the MCU, and maybe not just the Fox universe, but other universes as well. We'll get to that in just a bit. But imagine Ryan and Hugh kill the Fox universe, and then they have different perspectives on how and why it happened. The banter between them would probably be be fantastic. Deadpool would have probably initiated everything and started a big fight and started the killing rampage. That could be how Hugh Jackman's Wolverine saw it, but on the other hand, Deadpool could say, well, they started it. They came at me. They are the reason we had to kill them. It wasn't my fault. You can imagine how this could be pretty dang good. Now, since Ryan Reynolds talked about Wolverine and Deadpool going on a road trip together, we have to kind of wonder where exactly would they be going? Well, since Deadpool 3 is going to be based in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we can imagine the road trip starts in the Fox Universe, but ends up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, with possibly some stops in between in other universes. This mm. is going to be a multiversal road yeah, trip. Yeah, yeah, true that, true. Because we already know they're going to end up in a different universe. But we also know that Deadpool did some time traveling at the end of Deadpool 2 doing what he called cleaning up the timeline. He did a lot of killing then, so we could probably assume that that's what's going to happen in Deadpool 3 as well. Now, like I mentioned, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman have already teased a lot of action. So could this mean that we are indeed going to see the death of the Fox universe? This is something that Deadpool could certainly do and probably only Deadpool. No other movie, show, or character could get away with killing an entire universe of old Marvel characters, breaking the fourth wall and essentially calling it what it is, the end of one universe with a few survivors like Deadpool and Wolverine. And remember that just because Deadpool Deadpool 3 will take place in the MCU doesn't mean that it has to be in the MCU the entire time. It's most likely going to start in the Fox universe and end up in the MCU. What happens in between is going to be that road trip. The road trip of Deadpool and Wolverine killing a lot of people most likely. With both mm -hmm. Deadpool and Wolverine each having kind of a different perspective, Rashomon style, of how and why the killing went down. So it looks like we have the basic outline for Deadpool 3. Ryan Reynolds revealed this almost two years ago and if you take into mind, Ryan Reynolds has been writing the script the entire time and the original writers for Deadpool 3, Rhett Reese and Paul Warner are back on board with Deadpool 3. The script is probably sticking true to what the two of them and Ryan Reynolds uh, yeah, probably, yeah, probably so. have been coming up with over yeah. these years. Marvel Studios originally wanted the Molyneux sisters to draft a new script. However, the original writers for Deadpool 1, 2, and 3 were quickly brought back on board. So this seems to be our story for Deadpool 3, a road trip with Deadpool and Wolverine involving time travel, multiversal travel, and a lot of killing, which will ultimately end with Deadpool Deadpool and Wolverine in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. To me, this sounds awesome. You can kind of do two different stories here. You could do Deadpool kills the Fox. Yeah, you can do a lot of stories on Deadpool. I ain't gonna lie. Universe, Crap. and you can do an awesome multiversal road trip with two of the most iconic Marvel characters there are. 
I'm all here for it, but let me know what you all think about this in the comments down below. Would you have it any other way? Let me know. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest MCU news. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. Yeah, but we see, you know, we see you when Deadpool gonna do. You know what I'm saying, man? But hey, let me know, Marvel fans out there. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below, y'all. But hey, like it up, sub, and we out. Peace.